we've got a fish fry coming up and I'm gonna show you how to trim these things up where even the pickiest eater will definitely love catfish and you won't want to eat it any other way after this. This is a way that's really easy for beginners. And look, if you leave a little meat on it, you know, don't panic, it's not a big deal. I've got this filet knife set from New View Hunting and I've been using it, testing it out before I did a video on it. And it's actually good quality. The case, yeah, the case is what it is. I mean, um, but not really looking for the case. I'm looking for the knives and I use regular fillet knives to do most of my stuff this kit also has a scaler um, it's got a sharpener a little pair of gloves and a small cutting board we've got this blue cat here one of the most difficult things people find in uh, catfishing is actually cleaning them and i'm going to show you a way that's super easy um, and there's several different ways we do it but this one right here makes it pretty quick and less complicated on wrestling the fish and when we're done i'm gonna show you how we trim it up for delicious catfish we're gonna cut stuff off a lot of people don't so that even the pickiest fish eater will eat it so we got connor behind the camera he's gonna do his best job of showing this um he can kind of move the camera in and out like a like a professional if he wants but we're gonna find this rib cage here come down here where it stops and you can see where the bottom of the belly is we're gonna come here in an angle and we're gonna cut down. Then I'm just gonna turn my knife. I'm gonna run it down this rib cage. You can see they're hard to hold on to. And if it ain't perfect, it's fine. I mean, see my knife tip come out the other end. And then we're gonna cut this off. And we'll get that back fillet off. Now you can stake these, you can do whatever. We don't eat fillets or steaks anymore because a lot of people don't like fish, they say, until we cut all the fat and red meat out. And I'll show you how we do that in a second. Then once I got that off, I don't have to wrestle them as bad. I'm gonna come up here, come up right behind the head. I'm gonna follow the backbone. We'll go around that dorsal fin bone that sticks out. I'm gonna bring that like this and I'm gonna cut down to where we ended. And then all I've got to do at that point is just follow the rib cage on down and take this off. We'll cut down around here. Like I said, just follow that rib cage. Keep it close as you can. You can hear it hitting that rib cage. I got to pull my knife up every once in a while. These knives are really good for new view. Um, I was quite surprised. I like to use Rada cutlery and these things come out of the box super sharp really good knives so i'm really impressed with them uh, i'm gonna just pause there for a second you can see we've got that fillet off and what i'm gonna do is show you how we trim this up you can see we still have the skin on it but we want that skin off and when you take this off do your best not to press down against that skin super hard there's a lot of red meat and we want to leave that on as much as we can so i'm gonna come in here and if you can kind of feel with that knife where that red meat starts, it's a little bit different texture. And we're just gonna push, if I can hold on to the skin. Sometimes you can use a pair of catfish pliers and hold on to it. And we're just gonna push that off. And then that's mostly all that red skin, red meat and stuff on there. And then when you come over, you can see we don't really have much red meat here. Now, one thing on these bigger catfish that you'll notice when you're doing this I don't know if you can see it in the video. So I hold it in the sun. There's a little bit of fat on some of these outside edges and we want to remove that because that'll be really fishy tasting. So I'm just going to come here, just going to move that strip of fat off. We're going to get rid of that. I'm going to come on this side and this red meat, I'm going to come in at a little bit of an angle. And I'm going to cut this lateral line out just like this. And get this lateral line. That's the stuff that's kind of dark and mushy when you fry it. And then any red meat, we completely remove. Um, and if there's a little speck, it's fine. But that's the stuff that's gonna make it taste muddy, fishy, stuff like that. All right, there's a little bit there. I'm gonna take it off. 
this little bit of fat right there i can see it kind of glistens and you take and wash this up and you'll see that fat even more so you can go back now all i want to do is i've got this piece right here i'm going to cut this to fry okay so we like it not super big i'm going to cut this in chunks we'll cut that one a little smaller And then I'm gonna come over here. This is the back fillet part. I'm gonna do the same thing. We're gonna pull the skin as much as we're pushing the knife, or maybe more. And I'm gonna pull that off. We've left, there's the red meat. All right, we'll get rid of that. And I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna look for this lateral line. Now on this back part, that lateral line will go all the way through. So at an angle, I'm just gonna cut through. I'm gonna cut through like this. Remove all of that stuff. That's what makes, why people don't like catfish, the fat and the lateral line. All right, so we're gonna come through, we're gonna look. Now down here where this fin is, that right there is fish fat. We don't want that on there. So we're gonna take and cut that off. And people that say, oh, I eat that. Well, we don't. We eat the best. We're gonna keep it. We're gonna, if we're gonna catch it and keep it, and I'm gonna feed it to my family. My family gets the best of everything. I'm not feeding them stuff that don't taste good. I've had people that say, hey man, I don't like catfish, but I like your catfish. Well, this is the reason. Fish fat, off. All right, then we're gonna cut it into friable sections. And then that's it. Nice, clean, catfish we'll rinse that up we get that all rinsed up that'll be flaky white meat we'll throw it in a hot grease we'll have a delicious meal so y'all check out new view hunting i'm gonna leave a link in the description y'all go check them out this is a good set of fillet knives i was really impressed i have not used the scaler yet the sharpener works good um we've skinned probably already i don't know 15 catfish for these knives and i really haven't done anything but just touched them up one time so i've got some catfish to work through here it's the same thing on the opposite side it's not real complicated there's no need to uh you know worry so much about you know all of that other complicated methods if you want fish steaks um if you want to figure out different ways to uh, clean catfish um, y'all can check out god's country hunting and fishing he's got a lot of cleaning um, videos over there he cleans them several different ways to show you how grandpa did it um, electric flay knives, things like that. Go check them out and also check out New View Honey. Appreciate it.